let's see if this equation is possible to solve using the variation of parameters technique. The idea is that we're looking to get a general solution y as sort of a function of u1 y1 plus u2 y2. Now in order to find y1 and y2, we have to solve the auxiliary homogeneous equation, which is going to be essentially m squared minus 2m minus 15 is going to be equal to 0, and then we'll deal with the whole e to the x situation a little bit later. So this thing will simplify to m minus 5 m plus 3 is going to be equal to 0, which gives us an m of 5 and an m of negative 3 which gives us a y1 of e to the 5x and a y2 of e to the negative 3x. So far, so good. That sort of means that we have y equals u1 e to the 5x plus uh, u2 e to the negative 3x. But really, the goal with the variation of parameters is to get an equation that says something like y1 du1 over dx plus y2 du2 over dx equals zero. And then we also have dy1 over dx, du1 over dx, plus dy2 over dx, du2 over dx. is supposed to be equal to f of x. Let's create our system of equations over here that we have, because we know that y1 is supposed to be equal to e to the 5x, and y2 is that one. So let's do e to the 5x, du1 over dx, plus e to the negative 3x du2 over dx is supposed to be equal to 0. And then we'll have the derivative of this, which is 5e to the 5x du1 over dx minus 3e to the 3x du2 over dx. It's supposed to be equal to, well, we'll put it to e to the x. And we'd like to plug this into a very special determinant called the Wronskian. So we should be able to do something like, we'll take these coefficients here, y1, y2, and then their derivatives. And uh, we're trying to really solve for these du and du2s. You can think of them as sort of like x's and y's in a system of equations. In order to do that, we have to figure out what are the x's so for, to plug in the x's, we have to take our answers and plug them into the x locations. So we'll take 0 and fx and plug them into these x locations and then have our y2's and the dy2 dx over here. And in order to solve for y's, we have to plug in the answers into the y locations. So 0 and f of x go into the second column. So we'll have y1 and dy1 over dx on the left and our answer is 0 and f of x in the right column. So we're sort of uh, being able to solve for our, our x's and our y's here. Let's try to solve these determinants for our situation, because w is supposed to be equal to e to the 5x, e to the negative 3x, and then we have 5e to the 5x and negative 3e to the negative 3x here. w1 is going to be equal to um, when we have 0 and then e to the x, and then uh, e to the negative 3x, negative 3e to the negative 3x. And w2 is going to be e to the 5x, 5e to the 5x, 0, e to the x. Just doing the math off to the side, it turns out that this one will simplify to negative 8e to the 2x. This one simplifies to negative e to the negative 2x. And this one simplifies to uh, e to the 6x. Remember that our goal is to be able to solve for du1 over dx, which is supposed to be equal to w1 over w. And that is going to be equal to negative e to the 2, negative e to the negative 2x divided by negative 8e to the 2x. Just pulling my answer from over here. And du2 over dx is supposed to be equal to w2 over w, which is equal to e to the 6x divided by negative 8e to the 2x.
These can be simplified to 1 over 8e to the negative 4x. And this one is 1 over 8, actually negative 1 over 8e to the 4x. Keep in mind that these are derivatives, so we're really supposed to integrate all this. Integrate those, so we're really trying to integrate this stuff over dx. See what that is. It's going to be uh, negative 1 over 32 e to negative 4x plus c1. And this one is negative 1 over 32 e to the 4x plus c2. Now let's see if we can plug in our answers to this equation. So we get something like y equals well, u1 is supposed to be this, negative 1 over 32 e to the negative 4x plus c1. And we have y1, which is e to the 5x plus u2, which is negative 1 over 32 e to the 4x plus c2 e to the negative 3x. So we can simplify all of this into one final answer, which is going to be c1 e to the 5x plus c2 e to the negative 3x, which we were expecting from our y1 and y2 homogeneous solution. And then we're going to get some minus 1 over 16 e to the x, which has the particular solution and the coefficient. <laughs> wow, so that's pretty cool. This is the variation of parameters technique.